My name is Jim Whitehead. I'm one of the senior lecturers on the interior design and interior architecture. Biophilic design is the idea of bringing the outside in and working with nature. And there's three ways that you can do that. I think first is very much a very literal idea of bringing greenery inside to an interior or into a building. The second idea is much more to do with metaphors or analogies of nature. So you're not bringing planting in, but you're having forms that evoke nature um, and the idea of that leading to mindfulness. And the final way that you can do it is almost starting to go back to evolutionary theory and starting to think about the habitats that humans um, existed in, say, for example, the savanna, and starting to evoke that through sensory design, because psychologically it makes us feel much more comfortable. Mm. So there's three ways that you can start to interpret, interpret biophilic, biophilic design. Um, I think its purpose and its main role is to be to do with mental health. And it's the value that we as humans put on green spaces and blue spaces and about how they link through to mindfulness and relaxation and all of those ideas. Um, so that's one of the key values of biophilia. One of the other key values of biophilia is to do with indoor air quality and the way that um, plants naturally add oxygen to the air and they clean the air for us. For me, um, having anxiety and having plants surrounding me really helps me sort of remain calm and sort of connect with nature, which I think is a really big thing, especially with this mental health situation that I have. Um, and I've sort of done it for quite a few years now and it's really sort of shown progress in terms of my headspace too.